Hi, I'm Betty, and last year I moved to the Lake District. I've always been at my happiest exploring in the great outdoors, and can usually be found hiking, paddling or swimming, here or further afield. Join me each week for a new adventure, click subscribe and come wandering with me. Good morning folks, I hope you're all well and you've had yourselves a fantastic week. Today we have quite an adventure, we are going to paddleboard the length of Ulls Water. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while but been waiting for the conditions to be right. Um, the idea is to paddle all the way to Pooley Bridge, then from Pooley Bridge we're going to catch the ferry back to Glen Ridding and then we'll have to paddle the final bit from Glen Ridding back to the car. So by the end of the day we'll have completed the entire of Ulls Water which is really exciting. We've got beautiful, uh, calm, flat water at the moment. It will pick up a little bit, I think, as the breeze increases. Um, but we've currently got out before the ferries have, so there's no uh, waves <laughs> as of yet. They come out later. But uh, yeah, excited day. Let's go. Let's bring you along. Earl's Water is the second largest body of water in the Lake District and we'd be paddling seven and a half miles over the course of the day. I booked the two o'clock return steamer from Pooley Bridge, which I hope would allow for a relaxed paddle and, most importantly, plenty of snack breaks. I don't have to paddle, the wind is behind me. Watch out for those ferries. Not so much the rowboats. Well, we've got to dodge the rowboats. <laughs> but those ferries are going to kick up a wave. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Don't want to turn to the side of them. Oh dear. <coughs> Time. Stop for our first refuel near Scale Howe Wood under Low Burke Fell. After checking the map I realised we cover just under 3 kilometres and should probably get a shimmy on. Well, there's quite a few sailboats out today as well. <sighs> so just behind me is Howtown, which is one of the stops on the ferry. So if you wanted to only do shorter distance on the paddleboards you could get the ferry from Howe Town um, which will take you back to Glen Ridding or onto Pooley 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 onto Pooley Bridge um, but yes that's an option
that would be absolutely great, thank you. The boat journey would take roughly one hour and the crew had kindly let us keep our boards inflated. Usually they have to be deflated before travel, something to keep in mind if you want to give this route a go. But because the cruise wasn't full and we had further to travel at the other end, they'd made an exception for us, which we're really grateful for. at Glen Ridding and we now have about a 2k paddle to get back to the car. I think we're going to go and conquer some islands. There's some nice little islands. Look. Over here. Ba -ba -ba. On the way home. And we've still got a nice little uh, tailwind pushing us back which is really nice. Thank you for watching folks, if you have any questions about the route I took today please just drop me a message in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Hope you all have a great week on your own adventures.